In this video, we will be creating something very awesome. Uh, you will be seeing this in the right uh, side of the screen, in the left for you. Yeah. So in this video, we will be creating a 3D model which will you, we will animate, we will also control the camera, we will also auto-rotate it, like we will add so many features with that too. So in the like, it will be of three parts, all of the parts will be like 10 to 20 minutes max. So it will be like in, in a half an hour, you can completely build this, whatever build right now, okay? So it is a very interesting, very useful package. It is just a package we are using, which is O3D. Uh, I'll be briefing about everything in the videos, so stay tuned. So what it does is we have a model which can auto play or don't play, right? So we just load. Right now our loading screen is that path. Okay. We have an auto rotate feature which will make the model automatically rotate. So if you now see the model, the model is de de degree wise rotating like every few seconds, right? And then we have a camera control too. We can control the camera. So in that we can just come and check the camera, right? You can like it is very useful, right? We use, basically use this in games. We can turn off both the features. After that, we have so many animations which the model has. Okay, so we can just go. Let's make something very good. Let's make him um, ideal, right? Then let's make him. Um, this ideal. It just didn't do anything. Then we go for run. Let's see how it looks run. It looks crazy, right? Yeah, so that's what it we can grow it for crouch walk it's a creep right so it can crouch walk it can crouch walk backward too look at this <laughs> yeah let's see the jump right yo that's cool right so it's cool we can build it without like so much coding it seems it has but let's go let turn like down right this is a good one yo <laughs> So basically you can create any 3D model animate over here. So all the animation are created in the model. So for that you will be needing a GLB file. So it's a GLB file is nothing but a model with the all the stuff like animations and things it is required in it. So if you want to create any 3D if you want to use any 3D model just get its GLB file and you will be good to go. Okay. Yeah. So firstly we will start it from very scratch. To start with me and to hang out with me in this part, you will need a GLB file and few of this package. I will create a repository. Uh, I will be uh, giving this asset for free. Uh, the link in the description will be provided. So just check it that, or I will pin it in the comments. So that's it. So let's start. Let's in this part we will be focusing on the adding the model, uh, how we can use the implement package and how we can set up the autoplay and everything okay so in this part we'll be just focusing on that after that part we will be setting this buttons and in the third part we'll be setting this animations okay so third part is very crucial and very hard uh, i think it will be like a seamless process we will start with the basics then adding some elements into this and the last part will be the animation okay so let's scratch let's do this from scratch okay so ignore everything i'll just for my sake we will just go out of this let's get my ui better my 3d huggy let's create a huggy right let's name him huggy let's name him huggy we are just using the theme data and the debug service all we always use that to remove that ugly bar so far for that uh, after that we have color scheme cd to seem blue i think we do need that if you just remove that it's also work use the material three. it helps like in the swapping and animations make it smooth okay so let's create our new page okay let's create a new file home let's name him um, screen dot dark okay and let's name let's create a stateless widget and name that widget home screen we are just creating a screen and yeah me back and just name this thing okay. so now we are at the scratch right so we are cool at the scratch we uh, didn't have anything we didn't have even like black hole right now so let's create from something here so we are creating a scaffold so we have our white screen back then we have created our body and basically uh, we will just create a simple uh, center aligned 
uh, center align a container. Let's create a container for that. Um, we need a child over it and the container. Sorry, I don't use this much right now. And child, we have to remove the cons part, and that's it. So I think that's pretty much it. I have our center tag. We are ready to go. So now it's time to implement the model. Let's make it quick. We will do in like just five minutes. So for that, you will need a package which is O3D 1.1.1. Latest version is 2.00. You can go with um, both of them. Uh, I have been working from this, so I will show you with this. You can check the latest version and upgrade that. It's not a much of hassle. So for that, you will just go and do the pub get O3D and you will get the package. Right now I have that, so I don't need that. You can check the package. It's a very awesome package. You can use it to like get uh, stores, e-commerce and gamifying things also. And it's very easy to like use it, right? You can check it, right? So there are some steps you have to follow, which I will show you right now. So firstly, for installation, you will be requiring this dependency. You can add it directly. After that, for Android 9 Plus, you need to give the, uh, internet permission okay and also you want to set the minimum sdk 21 so for that you will be just going to the android builds gradle okay, sorry that that builds gradle we'll go to the app and the build gradle you will see we have established our minimum sdk 21 so if it doesn't if it doesn't fit you it just change it to 21 okay after that we will be changing uh, giving the permission of user internet and the user clear traffic group okay so these are required for your uh, glb model to like for the animations and stuff so it is very important so just go there and go to the where is the android source file main analog so path is android app source main android max. so we we'll find your android manifest and you will check for the dependencies okay, just a second yeah use this permission for the internet right right now i am building in ios so i think i didn't implement that but for that you can just copy this part yeah, let's copy this also be aware of the plus part and on the application part you can just enter that right you can just add it right here let us see and see you can just check the name label icon you can add it over here but right now i'm on ios i do need that and also add this which will be used in here okay so add these two lines okay after that if you are on the ios part you have to do certain steps too so for that you have to go to your info.plist so for that you will just go to the ios ios folder and the run, runner folder and you will get the info plist as soon as you get the info plist go and get this key added to this you can see we have our key we just have to add the key over here to work it like every time and then add this modifier to the source right so that's the basic thing if you want to like as you can see we have our dddf and everything set up so you just have to uh, take care of that that's the installation process and after that just go to the pub spec yaml add the ot3 the latest version and you'll be good to go okay so now let's create our OT3, right? Uh, so with simple terms, so we will just go back to our home screen. Boom. And for that, we will just create a simple O3D. Okay, so it's O3D. Okay, I think that we have to get the line because it's not automatically taking that. Just going to push it and we are done. O3D, let's go child, O3D, we have our package array and it requires a source. So basically for source, you will just have to give the address for this thing, which is this, which is the Google assets. And copy this entire name over here and that's it over here, right? And if you want to check that, you will just come here. As you can see, we have our <laughs> boy over here yeah boy it's ideal it's not animating because we didn't implement any animation into this right now we'll be moving forward also for the asset part you have to add this line you have to check it if your perspective yaml doesn't contain this 
it will not work okay so please be aware of that and let's go so that's our basic model right you are done you have the 3d model in your hand so that's great right uh, so moving forward it, it, it gives us queasily line because it requires a constant but we will not provide them a constant let's add some things right let's make it cre create it so first uh, then let's see how many options are there we have animation cross credit program AR uh, AR modes so if you want to AR right if you, you can use this model as AR too flutter gives so much benefit it will be a next topic uh, we're covering in the tips and tricks playlist uh, so no worry about it we will do that let's focus on the basics let's play autoplay uh, what if i just do the autoplay right it will not do anything because right now it doesn't have any animation set to it right that's why it's not autoplaying also we have so many terms which is like camera control we want to control the camera or not if i just do this false now i'm okay i'm just refresh the app and now you can see it's also running so that's the great part it has some basic default and you can see we cannot rotate it right now okay yeah. that's the great part we cannot rotate it we control the control so then we have another options like auto rotate delay we also have delay thing so we can just make it false and auto rotate we can also add the auto rotate Require an integer, and now I implemented that. And every time we have to reload because it doesn't work just with the state state because if we have implemented the stateless widget, we will be doing of the state management in the later parts. But right now we are just implementing our model. Okay, yeah. So just just stay focused. Let's add a constant to remove the scratchy lines. Then we have so many things. Then our camera target option like let me add you things right which will be needed which is the camera target so camera target will uh, give like how the camera will target so it has three axes uh, x y and z so you'll just go with flow with me in this part it's not going to be that hard uh we'll remove this constant and we'll get to go just restart it and i will show it. It's just to make it like a little bit from far apart okay so like we can show the model like completely right otherwise the model will take occupy the whole screen so it's a very good good use case then we have a camera orbit so we can also set the orbits to orbit for the camera if you are like from the gaming side you will be knowing this terms very well and as soon as I refresh Yeah, now it's perfect, right? We set the camera at the perfect angle we wanted to, and now we can. If I just go the camera control to true, we start the app, and now it's looking wonderful, right? We have fixed the orbit, so everything looks just coming from here. And we are as we put it like I go one direction 0 0.2 so we can see it from the front end, right so if I just change it now you will notice the difference right now we are inside the model right we are just just at the model it's not a good way to see it right it's just on the top of it <laughs> look at this guy you looking cute. Let's put a screenshot for that. It's lagging a bit, I think. Yeah. Yo, looking cute. So that's the game. So we'll just move it back to the point twos, and that's it. So you have our model implemented. Everything looks good. So, so that's it for this video. It's now also 15 minutes. We'll be. Uh, in the next video, we will be adding the controllers to control this points and adding the animations too. I will try to make it short and next video will, will be scheduled at Monday, I think. Yeah, yeah, it will be Monday on the 31st. Oh, yeah, whatever it is. So, thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, make sure you practice uh, started once and we will be joining you in the next video.
Hope you have a great day. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye 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 bye.